power tip for this week, like I mentioned, focusing on post-activation potentiation, how we can effectively use this in the gym, not only to save time with athletes, but also to improve their power performance and, and really increase their velocity in the gym. And that's to simply superset a heavy lift with a velocity-based movement. We want to try and replicate the pattern of movement as, as specific as possible. So an example of this will be a back squat, heavy back squat, where you're moving quite slowly, but you're li lifting heavy load, so working on your force production with a box jump. Okay, so similar movement pattern where the box jump, um, it's body weight, and you're trying to move as fast as possible in the vertical plane. Deadlift with a broad jump, same sort of thing, focusing mainly on hip extension, and that horizontal force production with a broad jump, similar movement pattern. The key here is that you do the heavy lift first and then you go straight into the explosive movement and you try, you're having the intent with every rep to move as fast as possible with the, with the explosive movement. A heavy bench press with Smith's machine bench throws. Weighted chin-ups with power chins. Heavy bench pull row with a banded bench pull. So these exercises, there's a common trend there. We're mimicking the movement pattern. We're moving heavy and then we're moving straight into a movement where we're moving fast. For exercise technique on how to perform these exercises, head to our YouTube playlist, the power training link, which we'll add in the show notes. I'll see you guys on the next episode. Make sure to subscribe and follow the YouTube channel for new exercises and educational content every week. And if you could give us a review on our podcast, that would be greatly appreciated. It helps us in reaching more people and ultimately helping and growing our online community. Thank you for listening, guys. I'll see you on the next one.